Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in the last video, I discussed how to create a Maven project using Redmi's ID, right? As you know that whenever we create a Maven project, this form.xml file is generated. What is this form.xml? Form is nothing but project object model. And this XML file contains the configuration setting of our project, right? Now, whenever we create a Maven project, the form.xml which is generated, it is inherited from the Maven's default form, which is called as a super form, right? And after that, the Maven uses the effective form. Effective form means the super form, which is provided by the uh, Maven. And this XML setting or this form.xml, where the project configuration setting is specified, together is called as the effective form. Now, Maven uses that effective form to build our Maven project, right? If you can see here, I have written the definition also. Form is an XML file which contains the configuration setting of the project which is used by the Maven to build the project. All form is inherited from the Maven's default form which is called as a super form. And Maven uses the effective form means the super form which is provided by the Maven and the project configuration which we are specifying in our form.xml that will be called as the effective form. Maven uses that effective form to build the project, right? Now, if you see here, here no dependency is specified. This means the project which we have created, it is not dependent on some other jar files, right? But suppose I want to create a project which will be dependent on some other jar files and how to add that dependency here, that portion I will discuss, right? Suppose I want to add the Hibernate dependency here. Then simply what we will do, right click on this dependency folder and then click on add dependency, right? And after that, here you need to specify the dependencies, group ID, artifact ID and all. From where we get all these things, what we need to do is that you need to go to the Maven repository site. And here you need to search the for the dependency which you want to add. Suppose I want to add Hibernate, then you need to search Hibernate here. I have already searched and it is giving me all the information. If you can see here, group ID, artifact ID version all the informations are specified here what we need to do is that simply you need to specify these informations here okay as soon as you will add these informations here and click on this add button all these informations will be stored in the form.xml file right i have already added here this i'm just simply copying this dependencies copy this you can add it from here also. It will automatically add the files here. I am writing it here. Uh, for the time being, I am just removing this. Okay. This. Now, after that, you need to click on save. As soon as you save this project, you will see all the dependencies for Hibernate is downloaded automatically from the central repository right this is how we can add the dependency now here one more thing to discuss suppose here we have this this these files these uh, dependencies are added here suppose i don't want to add this dependency here this jboss logging uh, dependency i want to exclude while downloading okay to do that what we need to is that here you need to specify your option which is called as exclusions okay exclusions inside this exclusion you just specify which dependency you want to exclude from this original dependency right so here i have specified org.gboss.logging from where you will get this now the dependency which you want to remove simply expand this okay expand this and here you will see pom.xml in this pom.xml you will get the corresponding group id artifact id and then you need to specify this group ID and artifact ID in this form.xml. Once you write this and after that, if you need to save this, then see the login is removed from here. This is how we can add a dependency and you can exclude a dependency. Okay. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.